Hi there. So are you thinking about moving to Colorado and just want to know a little bit more about where the most affordable cities are to live? Well, that's exactly what this video is for. Let's get started. All right, Christy Lee here, and I am a local real estate agent as well as a native to Colorado. And if you're new to my channel, all of my videos are going to be catered to my most favorite places to live, places to visit, take your kids, things like that. So if that's something that interests you, please click subscribe right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video, as well as I love hearing from you. So if you're somebody who are moving to the city or the state for that matter, and you need some assistance, please reach out to me anytime. I am the one that answers those phone calls and emails. All right, so you're thinking about moving to Colorado and you wanna know where's the most affordable place to live? I mean, we all know Colorado is getting to be extremely expensive to live here. And being a native here, I've seen it go just skyrocketing and all of my fellow Colorado natives, um, I shouldn't say all of them, but a lot of them are moving out because it is just getting too expensive to live here. That being said though, there are still places that are still affordable. And so you could still have that Colorado lifestyle or even still be close to Denver, but maybe not pay that premium price that Denver and Boulder have to offer. So today I'm gonna to talk about my five top most affordable cities. Now I do want to be very clear on this. This is not my five favorite cities or best places to live in Colorado. These are just the most affordable places, I believe, up and down the Front Range or I-25 corridor that I think that I think they are going to be the most appealing to people who are moving here. So I'm going to start on the farthest south and then I'm going to work my way up. So let's start with number one on the list and that's going to be Colorado Springs. So Colorado Springs is going to be the farthest south that I'm going to talk about and it's about 45 minutes to an hour south of Denver. Um, I personally lived in Colorado Springs for a few years, um, about 10 years ago or so, and that area is completely booming. It's gorgeous down there. So if it, you're somebody who, you know, loves the outdoors and loves being close to mountains, um, Colorado Springs is absolutely going to be a great option for you. Um, I will say Colorado Springs is going to be definitely more military and Christian based. There is a lot of um, a lot of churches down there. Um, it is kind of what they're known for down there, as well as military bases. So you have Fort Carson's going to be down there, as and um, the Air Force Academy will both be down there. But even still, um, you could get a lot more for your money if you're wanting to live in that area. So Colorado Springs population right now as of 2021 is going to be just under 500,000 people. So it is a very big city. In fact, it is the largest city in Colorado as far as the area is concerned. And then the second largest as far as population is concerned just outside of Denver. Um, and then you're going to be the medium house price in Colorado Springs is going to be about $450,000. Now keep in mind, Denver's median house price is $700,000. So you're going to get a lot more for your money just an hour outside of Denver. Um, also a really cool thing about Colorado Springs, you're going to be really close to Garden of the Gods, uh, Manitou Springs, Woodland Park. Um, all of those areas are going to be right there if you like to hike. You have the incline um, up there as well, which is really, really cool. Um, and then if you even head down so uh, south even more, if you're somebody who wants even small, small town feel but still want to be southern, you could get into Pueblo, Fountain, um, all of those areas. I'm not going to get into those areas because those are a little bit too far south for, for where I cover. Um, but Colorado Springs is a great option and I definitely think worth considering if you're moving to Colorado. Okay, next on my list and just moving a little bit farther north is going to be Aurora. So Aurora, Colorado is just going to be east of Denver, about 20, 25 minutes east of Denver. Um, I will say having lived here my entire life, Aurora never used to be that great of a place to live in. Um, definitely there was a lot more crime and uh, things of that nature Aurora was just kind of known for. However, I will say within the last say 20 years or so, Aurora has definitely revamped itself 
and has made it really, really appealing for people to move to. Um, there's a lot of new communities out there, a lot of new establishments as far as restaurants and shopping. Um, so, and it's just really cleaned up its act. Don't get me wrong, there are pocket, pockets of Aurora that still are not as great, but overall as, as a whole, Aurora has really tried to revamp its, its look and its appeal to a lot of other people. Um, the Aurora, um, it's going to be, uh, the medium house price is going to be right around $600,000. So yes, obviously that is still going to be expensive. It's still less than Denver though. Um, you are going to get more for your money out in Aurora. Um, so if you're able to, you know, move out there, then that's going to be really great only because you're going to be close to DIA. So if you're somebody who um, needs to travel quite a bit for work or you just like to travel for fun, DIA or Aurora is going to be fantastic. You have the Gaylord Hotel out there, uh, which is a lot of fun, you know, to hang out at during Christmas time. It's all decorated. Cherry Creek Reservoirs out in Aurora. There's a lot of bikes and uh, bike paths and trails out there. So, and there's going to be a lot of big, big established communities. South Shore um, is just to name a few. So, if you're thinking about, you know, moving to Colorado and can afford that 600 price point and yet still want to be close to Denver, I highly recommend Aurora, Colorado. The only drawback I will say for Aurora is going to be you're farther away from the mountains. So you're going to be a good, oh man, about probably two hours just to get into like the heart of the mountains, like Breckenridge and Silverthorne and stuff like that, about two hours. You could get into the mountains like the, the foothills part, you know, maybe golden, evergreen in about an hour. But because Aurora is so farther, far east compared to some of the other cities that I'm talking about, it will be a little bit farther. Um, but you know, it, to each their own, you know, you could get a lot more for your money, a newer home for sure. Uh, you could get out, you know, in the Northfield, the reunion, um, Green Valley, Green Valley Ranch area and get a, you know, a really, really pretty home, even for less than 600,000. So something to think about um, when moving to Colorado as well. Okay, so continuing to make our way up north, our next stop on the affordable cities list is gonna be Fort Lupton. So Fort Lupton actually is going to be a very small town northeast of Denver. So you're gonna be about, oh, about 15 minutes off of I-25, so east of I-25, and then about 30 minutes from 25 down to Denver. So you're gonna still be looking about 45 minutes to Denver, um, but it's a very, very small town, just under 8,000 people in population. Um, but you're gonna get definitely a lot more money if you're wanting to move out there. There's a few new builds out there that you can get big houses right around that 3,000 square foot mark. And the average price point is gonna hover right around that mid 400, so $450,000 for a new house. Um, obviously you could go less than that if you wanted something a little bit smaller or even a little bit older. Um, the thing with Fort Lupton is again, you're gonna be very close to DIA. So if that's something that you, you know, again, like to travel or whatever, you could also get into Greeley really easy as well. You just head north and you'll hit Greeley. Um, so if you work or go to school in Greeley, um, Fort Lupton might be a great option for you. I will say though, with Fort Lupton, you, it's definitely a different type of lifestyle because it is very small, like very small. Um, so just kind of keep that in, in mind. You're just gonna have, you know, the small, the small little strip of stores or restaurants. Um, there's just not a whole lot out there to do. So just, you know, you will probably be um, driving, you know, into Firestone or Frederick or even up to Greeley um, to get to a lot of your amenities or entertainment. But you could again, get a lot more for your money out there um, if you're wanting to move or, you know, move to Colorado. Also another thing you should consider as well as Fort Lupton is um, because it is so far east, and a lot you know, cheaper than other places, you could actually get some land out there too. So if you're somebody who wants you know, a, a little bit of acreage with your home or you know, have an outbuilding for a trailer or a boat or something like that, Fort Lupton actually might be a great option for you uh, just because you are gonna get a lot more for your money out east.
All right, next on the list as we continue to move north is gonna be Firestone, Colorado. So Firestone, Colorado is just gonna be about 30 minutes to 40 minutes north of Denver. And what I do like about Firestone is that it is kind of intermingled with Frederick, Colorado, as well as Decono, Colorado. So they're all gonna be kind of lumped into the same. I actually have made a video specifically on Firestone, so please take, you know, take a look at that if you want additional information on specifically that city. Um, but right now, I'll just let you know, uh, the fi Firestone population right now is just under 9,000 um, people. And the average home cost in 2021 is gonna hover right around that 500,000 mark. So it is gonna be a little bit more than obviously Fort Lupton, um, but you do get a lot of home for that price point considering um, you know we're right above, butting up against the Longmont area and the Erie area. So those are gonna be really close um, cities to Firestone and gonna be quite a bit more expensive. So, you know, if you just go just a couple miles northeast of those cities, um, you're gonna get a lot more for your money for sure. Another thing I like about Firestone is just the outdoor recreation that they have to offer. Um, there's a few lakes out there. You have a bunch of trails um, that you could ride your bike on, walk your dog, whatever. Um, but you're also really, really close to Longmont. So just on, you know, Highway 19 is where it kind of is. You could head right west into Longmont and you have all the amenities of Longmont within 10 minutes of Firestone. So that is a great appealing thing that you could get more for your house, a newer house, then Longmont, but still have the amenities of Longmont. So definitely something to consider. Um, there is quite a few new builds out in that area. So if you're somebody who wants something a little bit newer, um, Firestone is definitely gonna be a great place to look into. And then like I already said, um, kind of piggybacking on, up on that too. So the Frederick and Decono area too, um, they're all kind of one and the same. So they offer the same as, as well. Uh, Firestone has a little like downtown area that has a few restaurants and boutiques and, and things like that. So, um, and they also have kind of like that small town feel. So you have the festivals and the farmer's markets and, you know, all of those kind of things that bring the community together. So Firestone is definitely going to be high on my list for sure. All right, last but not least is going to be Millican. So Millican, Colorado is gonna continue north and you're gonna go um, up to almost pretty much Johnstown and then head east. So you're a good hour, hour and 20 minutes away from Denver, um, northeast of Denver. But Millican is gonna be a really small, like little city out there. Um, your average home price is gonna be right around that mid 400s the uh, population is going to be hovering right around that 7,000 uh, people mark. It is a very, very small town, but it has a lot to offer. I mean, if you want something that, you know, you could get a lot more for your money and you like that small kind of farm, farm town, you know, where, you know, have the, the little local, you know, grocery store or the uh, breakfast breakfast restaurant, you know, everybody kind of goes in there for breakfast. Milken's going to be it. Milken's absolutely great. And one great thing about Milken is that you are still so close to other areas. So you might not have the entertainment or major shopping chains as some of the other ones like Aurora or Colorado Springs. Um, but Milliken, you are super close to Fort Collins and Loveland. So you could get into those cities relatively quickly within 20, 30 minutes still have the amenities of all of those things uh, as far as like the movie theaters, the shopping, Target, like that kind of stuff is all going to be in those major cities. Um, but you still get, you know, for $450,000, a newer home um, just outside of 20, I-25. So if you take I-25, then you're going to head east at least about 20 minutes or so, and you're gonna hit Milliken. And it's 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 very small, cute little town, but definitely worth looking into if that's a type of vibe that you like or at least something that you want to move to Colorado and be able to afford. I highly recommend Milliken for sure. Okay, so that is it. That is the 
five most affordable cities that I think my favorite um, affordable cities in Colorado, right up and down the I-25 corridor. Please reach out to me if you are moving to Colorado or you know already live in Colorado and want additional information about any other city um, you know surrounding Denver. I would be more than happy to help you. Remember to click that subscribe button right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video. And to the next video, take care.